I get so annoyed when we just hold functions just to hold functions to give someone an award to make them feel good so you feel good that you made someone else feel good in hopes that they'll return the favor and make you feel good. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? U.S. Youth Soccer announces regional winners of annual awards. So they have all these awards. Boys and Girls Competitive Coaches of the Year. And wait, wait, there's more. Boys and Girls Recreation Coaches of the Year. By the way, the coaches of the United States of America, you're all recreational. There, there shouldn't be competitive and rec. It's all rec. If it was competitive and actually meant something, we would have better players. But we don't. We're all rec. So it should be one award. But they, have, uh, they also have the Young Referees of the Year Award. You know, it, in a way, I, I'm so excited about technology. I'm seeing all this technology. It's ridiculous with these 360 degrees cameras. I, I was looking at pricing that I may be able to get a bar system at my school. They have everything. They're like, it's coming. Like, ev eventually, we're going to have gold line technology at the JUCO level. Uh, the technology is going nuts. And I just got looking at a bunch of things, and it's coming. You know what's going to happen? Just like McDonald's. You know, robots are going to be serving you at McDonald's in California. Guess what? Robots are going to take over referees. And everyone should be against a referee union. We don't want referees. They all screw it up. We don't have time for human error. We need the exact calls. So as time permits, as my grandchildren start playing the game, I want robots. I just want, I, I just want video to get the right call. That's it. Eliminate referees, especially the referees. They're now accepting medals. After the game, I, I saw my friend Alan Chapman you know, who is the uh, MLS referee of the year. He does an okay job. I like him. But him and his staffs wearing medals like they won some prize. Don't give him a medal. Give him a certificate. Congrats. You, 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 you refed in this game. But we, you don't need a medal. What the f what are medals for? It's ridiculous. Everyone needs to be feeling like they're, they're something special. But here's an awesome one. So... <laughs> Sorry, we're going to have to interrupt this podcast for a message from me. Go to CoachCameron.com and learn everything you need to know about me and everything I do in soccer. You can find it on CoachCameron.com. You can also learn more about Anchor. Anchor.fm is where I broadcast from. It's a free app. You can do it anywhere in the world, and it's free. And you can make money off it. As well, I'm making money right now on this advertisement I'm doing for Anchor. So download Anchor.fm today from your app store. Gala. The gala. Isn't that something U.S. soccer would say? At the gala. What do you mean the gala? It's crazy. Uh, that's U.S. soccer to a T to me. They, they have all these... Garbage, like at a gala. We're going to have it at a gala. That, that's why we, we're a joke. There's not enough suffrage going on with the U.S. soccer system. The gala, wasting our money on that. Crazy gala. I'd go if I was invited, though. Um, so I'm a hypocrite. But I am annoyed at the same time. I'm conflicted as a human being. Uh, yeah, we ha we have problems with all these awards. We don't need awards. All, all, you, know, you know the best award we can give? I'm a man or I'm a female warrior, but prove it through suffrage. What kind of suffer can you handle? How long can you suffer? Th those are awards I would want. But any award you have to get someone to actually nominate you for, it's a problem, people. I got an award. I, I got, you know, one of my best awards were here. I, I was named the Impact Teacher of the Year. I was a PE teacher at Litchfield Elementary. I got nominated because I was legit. 
I worked my butt off. And I was recognized by the principal. And uh, Dr. Ling, thank you so much. Didn't even know there was such a thing. I got it. And then um, after I got it, I was teacher of the year, basically. I retired. I was good. Three years of teaching, teacher of the year, left. You know why? I got a pay cut. So insurance rates went up, and they didn't cover it, so I left. Teacher of the year, and then get a pay cut. Out. But that was a real award. You know, I got coach of the year this past year but voted by my peers was even at the meeting i got i got it it was a funeral but um but yeah i got i get awards but i'm not about these fake ones i mean how do you become the boys and girls competitive coaches of the year i mean how's that even decided someone has to submit you and then you have to do a voting system on I, I don't know. It, it's it's goofy to me. You know, you know, you know who should get the competitive, I mean the rec coach of the year? The national champion. Oh wait. Which national championship is there? I don't know. That's the only award that should exist. But I don't know. All these awards are just killing me. So I'm gonna stop this rant because you don't want to listen to me much longer. I don't even want to listen to me. I should have cut this off two minutes ago because it was legit until the last, like, 90 seconds. So I'm going to cut it off now. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Have a great and blessed day. Goodbye.